hello in today's video i'm gonna show you uh, how uh, i've used chat uh, open ai or chat gpt uh, to help me with some lisps in autocad so i uh, opened uh, the chat gpt using the link in in the description and then asked uh, the uh, in in the text uh, generate an autocad lisp um, to display the area of a polygon um, and um, was amazed really of the results uh, I'm getting so at the moment it's writing the code and it is also writing some description uh, about the program how it works uh, and to use it in AutoCAD um, how you can do that using the app load command uh, type um, which is really uh, amazing so also you have that copy uh, here button to help you to copy the code uh, so what I'm trying to do now is using the app load command in AutoCAD um, in order to load that lisp um, and I opened the load um, applications and then right click uh, new and added the text file um, and to display that in the screen I used the star dot star uh, enter and then uh, rename the file uh, using the uh, name of the code uh, or the function of the lisp um, and then the extension as lsp um, and after that um, saved the new name and the new extension uh, right click um, and do edit in order to add the code uh, in it um, go back copy here so copy the code and uh, paste uh, within the notepad uh, and then I would save it um, and then load it um, to uh, the AutoCAD uh, it is successfully loaded make sure it's successful then go to the setup um, the startup suit and again add that uh, list file um, do open um, close and then close again and now the excitement uh, and the overwhelming uh, feeling is all over the place so I'm trying to do a polyline a closed polyline or a polygon and try uh, the the code so i used c here c command to close the polygon make sure it's closed um, and type in pr to show the properties so you can see the area of that polygon and let's check that code that's been generated by uh, the chat gpt um, so what i'll do is just uh, type the code the, the the function name poly area uh, enter uh, you can see it now asks about selecting a closed polyline. So we select the closed polyline, and you can see the area uh, is displayed in the command. Um, and um, hopefully, we will see it matches the same area that you can see in the properties, which means that code is doing the job, is doing the function. So, without any knowledge of programming, I managed to get that. Uh, so, imagine any function you want. You can really follow the same procedure um, that's pretty amazing uh, i hope you like this video and thank you for watching